This video will demonstrate the workflow for a single crown. Starting on the patient's page, create the patient. Then select New Case. Select Lab. The order form will appear. Select the tooth that needs to be restored. The tooth will be highlighted in blue. In this case, we're planning to make a single crown. Click on the Anatomy drop-down list to select Crown. Then select Material in the Material drop-down list. Finally, set the delivery date by clicking the Delivery Date button. You can also add a pre-preparation scan to the scanning workflow, or add intraoral camera functions. Now proceed to the scan page. Use a retraction cord and or hemostatic agent if parts of the margin are subgingival. In this case, start by scanning the opposing arch to allow time for the retraction methods to take effect. Follow the official scan strategy, which is start by scanning the occlusal surface from the molar to the canine. Then, as it is the lower arch, slowly roll to the lingual side and move the scanner to the distal direction. Finally, slowly roll over the last molar and scan the buccal side. Now proceed to the upper arch. Scan the same area as in the lower arch. There are two ways to scan an arch with the preparation. The first option is to remove the retraction cord, dry the preparation, and immediately scan the preparation with a clear margin before the gingiva collapses. Make sure to get the margin covered well. Then paint the margin using the lock tool. This will freeze the margin in its current retracted state, thus preventing it from being updated with later data when the gingiva might have collapsed. Then complete the scan using the official scan strategy, which is to continue scanning the occlusal surface from the preparation to the canine. Then, as it is the upper arch, slowly roll to the buccal side and move the scanner in the distal direction. Finally, slowly roll over the last molar and scan the lingual side. The second option is to leave the retraction cord in place and scan the arch following the scan strategy. Then, trim away the margin in the scan with the trim tool. Remove the retraction cord, dry the teeth, and scan the margin immediately, before the gingiva collapses. No matter which method you prefer, make sure that you've covered the prepped area entirely, including the margin line and contact points. Verify this by zooming in on the preparation, turn off colors, and rotate the preparation. Finally, mark the preparation using the Mark Tooth button. Once you have marked the tooth, the software will automatically check if there are any areas near the preparation that have not been scanned. If any holes are found, you'll be informed by a pop-up. Pressing the pop-up will rotate the scan to show the areas not scanned, indicated by amber arrows. If the holes are located at critical areas, such as the preparation, margin line or contact points, you will need to add some scanning here. Otherwise, no further scanning is required. When the regular scanning is finished, the Carries Aid button becomes available, enabling fluorescent scanning for aiding the detection of possible surface carries. Press the button to activate fluorescent scanning and start scanning once again. In this video, we focus on a single crown already verified and prepared for the restoration, and we will not proceed with fluorescent scanning for aiding the detection of possible surface carries. Having the surface scans taken, you have the opportunity to take a shade measurement and take a HD photo. A HD photo may be useful for the lab to set the margin. Now move to the bite scan page. Insert the scan tip to the second molar on the buccal side. Ask the patient to bite. Scan three to four teeth until the upper and lower arches snap to the bite scan. The light blue surface indicates the surface covered by the bite scan. After completing the bite scan, click to go to the patient-specific motion page. Make sure you create the patient-specific motion scan only on the side where you want to make the restoration. 
start scanning on the blue marked area. When the area turns green, instruct the patient to start grinding the teeth in the desired direction. When you're satisfied with the recorded motion, stop the scanning. It is now possible to replay the movement of the patient. The Change View button allows the examination of the actual contact points of the patient occurring during static and dynamic occlusion. Now go to the validation page and confirm that there is enough space for the reconstruction between the upper and lower jaw using the clearance tool. Optionally, you can set the margin line. You can also add some comments on the 3D scan using the annotation tool. Shade measurement is also available here. And dynamic occlusion can be examined here too. Post-processing will be done automatically when you send an order. However, it is recommended to do post-processing at the analysis page if you wish to set the margin line before sending. Finally, move to the send page. You'll see a summary of the order and all added attachments. Optionally, you can send scans to the patient. When ready, press the Send button to send the order. Now you know how to make a crown case. Thank you for watching. Thank you.